pirates are using one skiff with seven POB on board. An Italian oil tanker has been hijacked in the Indian Ocean by pirates armed with guns and rocket-propelled grenades. Pirates are among the most fascinating and sometimes romantic groups of outlaws in all of history. But it's easy to feel that way looking back at classic pirates like Blackbeard or William Kidd. The reality is, pirates are brutal and vicious criminals, and they're still in operation today, especially off the coast of Somalia. Their victims are sometimes subjected to terrible things. But luckily, many navies are doing their best to capture pirates today. And while they do that, they also often capture amazing footage of the battle with the pirates. Go way up, go way up. So let's check out some of these breathtaking clips and stories behind them as we bring you 20 real Somali pirate attacks caught on camera. <laughs> Number 20, Somali Pirates Shot At. In 2017, Somali pirates tried to take over this big ship, and a camera caught the dramatic gunfight between armed security guards and the pirates. The clip starts with a fast-moving boat, approaching the big ship as guards can be heard talking about what to do next. Go way up, go way up. Fire warning shots, a voice says, and the men start firing bullets into the water around the oncoming boat. The shooting doesn't stop the speedboat from moving forward, then it crashes into the bow of the sea cruiser. As more shots are fired around the pirates, the ship's crew can be heard screaming, where are they, as they fire wildly into the ocean. When the camera stops shaking, they can see the boat is far behind their ship. What a relief. No one knows if anyone was hurt in the exciting shootout, but the pirate's boat seems to be heading back towards land, which means at least someone on board survived the attack. Even though this was satisfying to watch, you have to respect the pirates' determination to get on the boat. Even though they were being shot at, repeatedly, they just went right for it. Oh, by the way, I have some pirates with me right now, and they say if you don't like and subscribe to the channel, you might end up in Davy Jones' locker. Time for the rare topic. This cruise ship was sailing under a golden sun near Africa, and no one on board knew the trouble that was coming. A small, worn-out speedboat with a group of determined Somali men on board came up behind the ship without them noticing. They pointed an old gun at the huge ship. Were they going to try and sink it? Well, they didn't know that cruise ship security team was waiting and ready to act. The men in the skiff finally attacked as the sun started to go down below the horizon. But the ship's security quickly stepped in and beat up the would-be pirates, foiling their plans. The dramatic moment was caught on camera by a nearby pirate boat, whose crew had no idea that the cruise ship had a security detail. This turned out to be their first ever attempt at piracy, and they went after a giant cruise ship. Do you think these pirates were too greedy? What should they have done differently? As always, comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and let us know what you think about what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 19, the Marsk, Alabama cargo ship. 2009 was more or less the peak of Somali pirate activity, and that's the year that this clip was filmed. Somali gunmen seized control of this container ship with at least 20 American crew members. This initiated a hostage situation for the Obama U.S. government. However, U.S. military sources soon realized the crew of the Marisk Line Limited container ship, which was delivering emergency supplies to Mombasa, Kenya, had retained charge. The captain of the Marsk was still held hostage in a smaller boat. The Marsk, Alabama became the sixth pirate ship boarded in 2009. However, it was the first U.S. flagship Somali pirates had ever taken over. This means that that crew were the first Americans to be abducted by pirates in about 200 years. Engaging in a traditional cat and mouse game with Western warships, Somali pirates were targeting new areas and avoiding the Gulf of Aden. After this incident, various foreign governments, including Russia, China, France, and India, dispatched over 20 vessels to safeguard busy sea routes in the Gulf of Aden, as well as portions of the Indian Ocean, through which approximately 16,000 ships pass each year. At the time of the Marsk attack, the nearest friendly U.S. ship was some 345 miles away. Number 18. Pirate Attack in the Gulf 
On January 20th of 2011, a ship called the MT Bunga Laurel was taking valuable chemicals to Singapore. The ship was run by a company called MISC Berhad. They were traveling near the Gulf of Aden, known to be full of pirates because Somalia is so close by. At the time, an RMN support ship called Bunga Mas Lima was following the ship. Its job was to keep pirates from getting on the ship. When the Bunga Laurel got to the safe zone, the Bunga Mas Lima turned around and returned to base. This is where things took a bad turn. About two hours after the two ships went their separate ways, the MT Bunga Laurel sent a warning that it was in trouble. MISC tried calling back, but no one answered. After three minutes, the Bunga Mas Lima sent a radio message to MISC saying pirates were attacking the Bunga Laurel. But seven of the 18 Somali pirates were already on board before they could do anything. The 23 crew on board turned on the security alert system, shut off the ship's lights and engines, and hid in the citadel. The pirates then tried, but failed, to break through the door of the citadel. Captain Narzi tried to talk to the pirates, but it didn't work because the pirates didn't want to negotiate. They didn't speak English anyway. But the pirates didn't count on the fact that the Bunga Mas Lima was carrying a team of badass Pascal soldiers who had been trained to handle cases like this. Soon enough, the Pascal soldiers showed up, and then the attack choppers showed up. And after that, the pirates gave up pretty quickly. And I mean, I can't blame them. Number 17. Royal Navy Captures 13 Somali Pirates in 2012, the UK Ministry of Defense stated that the Royal Navy captured 13 Somali pirates in the Indian Ocean. We can see the awesome incident right here. The RFA Fort Victoria and a US Navy ship told the pirates' boat to halt, but the pirates' boat continued, even after a Royal Navy chopper fired warning shots at it. So the Royal Marines approached the pirate ship in speedboats and boarded it. They apprehended 13 pirates and confiscated their guns. Defense Secretary Philip Hammond mentioned that the British Marines, who were part of a NATO-led force, should be proud of this success. The Ministry of Defense official also said that the individuals believed to be pirates had been taken onto the RFA Fort Victoria before being taken to court. Number 16. 16 Somali pirates sent to jail. In 2011, the Indian Coast Guard caught 16 Somali pirates who had taken over a fishing boat. In 2017, a court in Mumbai gave them each seven years in prison. The pirates took over the fishing boat MV Mortzia, which had just left Iran. They also took the crew, comprised of Iranians and Pakistanis, as hostages. The court gave each of them a fine and told the government to send them back to Somalia after their jail terms are over. On the other hand, the judge found them not guilty of, quote, kidnapping for ransom, which can lead to the death penalty and violations of the Arms Act. While the Indian Navy ship Survarna was on an anti-piracy patrol off the coast of Lakshadwe, it was told that the pirates from the hijacked ship MV Mortzia and two skiffs had attacked another commercial ship. The pirates successfully boarded the MV Mortzia and two skiffs. The INS Servana came quickly to the scene and told the pirate ship to stop its engines, but the pirates started firing on them. The Navy's return fire caused a fire on the MV Mortzia. The Navy saved the crew, which was made up of 12 Iranians and the four Pakistanis, and arrested 16 Somali pirates. At the outset, the MV Mortzia set sail from Chabahar, Iran, and they were probably all apprehensive about the possibility of encountering pirates in this notorious area. And it was indeed taken over by pirates near Seychelles, who then took it to Somalia and began converting it into a mothership for launching strikes. The prosecutor said the crew was holding prisoners on board. Sadly, one crew member took his own life after being tortured by the pirates. And the pirates killed another as the INS Servana closed in. Number 15, Pirate Attack on Star Breeze. The cruise ship Star Breeze was built in Germany in 1989. Windstar Cruise owns the ship and it sails between Europe and Africa. Early in 2005, Condé Nast said she was the best small cruise ship in the world. At 5.50 a.m. on November 5th of 2005, two pirate speedboats were sent out by a mothership to attack the Spirit, 
which was 100 miles off the coast of Somalia, with 115 people on board. Rocket-propelled grenades and machine guns were fired at the cruise ship. A rocket motor from an RPG got stuck in the wall of a room and had to be taken apart by soldiers from the USS Gonzalez after the attack. It was said that a second RPG hit the stern and bounced off. No passengers were hurt, but the ship's master-at-arms, Sam Badur Gurang, was hit by gunfire while using a long-range acoustic device to fight the raiders. The noise device sent a powerful sound wave that scared the pirates away. Queen Elizabeth II gave the Queen's Gallantry Medal and the Queen's Commendation for Bravery to Michael Groves, a security officer, and Sam Badur Gurang. This brave master-at-arms used to be a Gurkha. These are Nepalese warrior classes that have served the British Army and are considered Britain's finest fighting men. Both men were honored for their bravery at Buckingham Palace. Number 14. 332 Days at the Mercy of Somali Pirates Pralav Dhyan, an Indian student who was 22 years old at the time, didn't know much about pirates. He said, I had heard of piracy from my colleagues, but I really didn't know much about it. All of this changed on the morning of April 11, 2010, when Somali pirates took over the MV Rack Africana, a cargo ship he was on, sailing from the Seychelles to Zanzibar. Prelov, a student in the marine sciences, and other people on his ship were held hostage in Somalia for 332 days, until a ransom was paid to get them back. Prelov says that a boat with armed men quickly came up to the ship. And before the crew of the ship could call for help, the armed men got on board. They pointed guns at the crew and told them to quickly start the engine and sail to Somalia. They were taken to Harardahar, Somalia. A group of men came to check out the ship, its goods, and the people on board, so they could decide how much to ask for a ransom. A pirate named Translator was their chief mediator. That's probably the least badass pirate name in history, but I doubt anyone would have told him that. Anyway, all the talks between the pirates and the company that owned the ship were led by Translator. Translator called the company that owned the ship and started talking about the ransom. Then they had to wait 332 painful days until it was paid and they could go free. When Prolov talks about their time as prisoners, he says when it happened everyone was in shock. Slowly they realized they had to stick together to get through the ordeal. Even though life in captivity was hard because there wasn't enough food, water, power, or medical care, their captain told them to stay upbeat. They took turns doing things like getting water and helping cook. Armed guards worked in 12-hour shifts to keep a close eye on the prisoners. From day one, they studied the behavior of individual crew members and tried different strategies to divide the crew, whether by using religion or by promising a cut of the ransom money if a particular member could provide them with certain information," said Prolov. If the negotiations slowed down, the hijackers used tactics like mock executions and crew lockdowns in order to push the captain to plead with the ship company to accept their demands, he added. Number 13. Pirates Hijack Italian Oil Tanker Pirates attacked the MV Savina Caitlin early on February 8th of 2011 about 670 nautical miles east of Socotra Island in the Indian Ocean. The Italian-owned and flagged oil ship was attacked by five pirates in a boat with small guns and four rocket-propelled grenades. They were able to get on board. When it was hit, the Savina Kalin was on its way from Bashir, Sudan to Pasir Gudang, Malaysia. The pirates then asked for a ransom to let the sailors out. Pirate sources say that oil ship was finally freed after a ransom of $11.5 million was paid. The 22 crew members were 17 Indians and 5 Italians. They had all been held captive for 11 months. The ransom was paid in two parts. The unusual two-part ransom drop was made because the pirates had refused to free prisoners in the past, even when they were paid a ransom. Pirates holding the MT Asphalt Venture wouldn't let eight Indian crew members go because they wanted to use them as pawns in a prisoner exchange with the Indian Navy. After that, pirates regularly refused to let Indian citizens go. Some even say they plan to hunt Indian sailors. The two-part drop was made to stop the pirates from pulling another bad faith move. A member of the pirate gang said it was a way for the ship's owners to make sure that the Indians were set free. 
After dropping the first 8.5 million by chopper, they asked the pirates to put the 17 Indians on a small boat and let them go. The pirates agreed. After they left, they gave the pirates the last 3 million and let the ship and the five Italians go. Ilyas, a well-known pirate leader from Hawiye's Marusad subclan, led the pirate group based in the Harahardhara area. Number 12. Somali Pirates Attack German Naval Supply Ship The US Navy and European officials had to confront seven pirates who fired on a German military supply ship off the Gulf of Aden. The International Task Force Fighting Piracy found them and caught them. The authorities thought that the pirates started fire on the FGS Spessbart because they might have thought it was a commercial ship. The German sailors fired back, followed the boat, and called for help. Several military ships rushed to the area, including a Greek and a Dutch frigate, a Spanish warship, and the USS Boxer. A Spanish marine plane and two US Marine Cobra helicopters joined the chase. The Greek Navy said five hours later, Greek sailors found the pirate boat, boarded it, and took the seven suspects and their weapons, which included assault rifles and rocket-propelled grenades. Man, these guys love their rocket-propelled grenades. The suspects gave up their weapons and were taken to the nearest German ship to be questioned. Fortunately, no one was hurt in the attack, the first on a German military ship in the area. Number 11. Pirates seize U.S.-bound oil tanker off Oman. This U.S.-bound ship, with about $200 million worth of crude oil on board, was taken over by suspected Somali pirates in the Indian Ocean. It was one of the biggest hijackings of 2011. The Irene SL was about the length of three soccer fields and had 25 people on board. It was carrying about 2 million barrels of oil, about one-fifth of the crude oil that the U.S. imports daily. The kidnapping happened just a day after pirates attacked the MV Savannah Kalin that we looked at a few moments ago. This added to fears in the business world that the piracy problem was spinning out of control. Commander Susie Thompson, the spokesperson for the International Combined Maritime Forces fighting piracy in the area, said that Somali pirates probably attacked the 333-meter tanker 220 miles off the coast of Oman. In 2011, Somali pirates were considered a threat to more than 40% of the world's oil supply. Number 10. Dai Hong Dan Incident The Dai Hong Dan Incident happened on October 29th of 2007, when Somali pirates attacked and briefly took control of the North Korean cargo ship MV Dai Hong Dan off the coast of Somalia. The ship's crew beat the pirates the next day with the help of a U.S. military ship. And yeah, you heard that right. The North Korea and the USA forces joined together. This happened about 70 miles northeast of Mogadishu, the capital of Somalia. Somali pirates boarded the North Korean cargo ship Dai Hong Dan. North Korean sources say the ship had just unloaded its cargo in the capital of Somalia when seven armed pirates dressed as guards got on board and locked the 22 sailors in the steering room and an engine room. Then they moved the ship out to sea and asked for a ransom in exchange for its return. The next day, when the ship sent out a distress signal, the USS James E. Williams, an American destroyer, approached the ship and sent an SH-60B chopper and a VBSS team out. In the meantime, the North Korean sailors fought back against the pirates who were holding them and captured some guns. The pirates were defeated after they and the sailors fought a long gun battle. During the fight, two pirates were killed and the rest were caught with three wounded. Three of the six wounded Korean sailors needed medical care, which American doctors and nurses gave them. Number 9. Somali Pirates Demand Ransom for Oil Tanker the EU's anti-piracy effort reported that armed men had taken an oil ship off the coast of Somalia and were holding the crew hostage. This was back in 2017. As usual, they wanted a ransom to let the crew go. An EU military force statement said the operation had contacted the ship's master, who confirmed that pirates were on board the Comoros flag tanker Eris 13. This was the first time a big cargo ship had been taken over off the coast of Somalia since 2012. It surprised the shipping industry worldwide because inspections of the fleets of NATO countries, China, India, and Iran had stopped Somali pirates from taking over ships for several years. But the UN warned that the situation was unstable 
and that Somali pirates, quote, had the will and ability to start attacking again. One expert said that some in the area had let their guard down when things slowed down. NATO, in particular, quit bothering pirates back at the end of 2016. Some felt that it would inevitably result in renewed attacks, and it did. Number 8. Royal Navy Saves Spanish Vessel from Pirate Attack As part of NATO's Combined Task Force 508, the Royal Fleet Auxiliary Ship Fort Victoria was on watch on November 28th of 2011, about 420 nautical miles from the Seychelles. Early that morning, she heard that a group of pirates had attacked a Spanish fishing boat working north of where they were. The ship's lynx chopper was immediately sent out to find out what was happening. When the chopper got to the scene, it saw a whaler and a skiff, which were both suspicious, near the fishing boat. The chopper followed the boat, which took off at over 25 knots. When the skiff didn't stop when told to, a highly trained sniper on the Lynx chopper fired warning shots in front of it. This got the skiff to stop, and the people on board, who were thought to be pirates, were then taken by boat to Fort Victoria. Number 7. The Moment the Royal Navy Captured a Somali Pirate Gang This is when a group of pirates with a lot of weapons learned not to mess with the Royal Navy. The group was found looking for victims in the seas off the Somali coast. They were armed with machine guns and rocket-propelled grenades, but as these videos show, they won't be scaring people much longer. After the pirates were caught, the crew of the ship HMS Portland were filmed blowing up one of their boats. The HMS Portland gave chase to the pirate ships and used its machine gun and sniper-equipped lynx chopper and inflatable boats to quarter the ship. When the pirates saw that the Royal Marines and sailors were coming to board their ship, they gave up quickly. Number 6. Dutch Marines Arresting Pirates in Somalia In 2012, nine suspected Somali pirates went on trial in the Dutch port city of Rotterdam. They were accused of firing on Dutch soldiers trying to board an Iranian fishing boat that had been taken by Somali pirates in 2011. As you can see, it was a dramatic incident. It even involved a gun battle. On April 2nd of 2011, the men between the ages of 18 and 38 shot at Dutch soldiers who were patrolling the pirate-filled Gulf of Aden. In the fight that followed, two Somalis were killed. The soldiers then went on board the ship and caught 16 Somalis. According to the prosecution, they also found 16 Iranian fishermen who had been held prisoners for four months, as well as automatic weapons and rocket launchers. Seven Somalis were let go and the other four were sent to the Netherlands to stand trial for piracy and attempted murder. In 2010, a court in Rotterdam gave the first Somali pirates to be tried in Europe a five-year sentence for attacking a Turkish cargo ship in the Gulf of Aden. The Netherlands doesn't mess around when it comes to suspected piracy crimes. After a peak at the beginning of the last decade, pirates' attack on industrial ships near the Horn of Africa are now thankfully less likely to be successful. Number 5. Action of 18 March 2006 On March 18th of 2006, two U.S. military ships were attacked by pirates, which led to the operation known as the Action of 18 March 2016. By 2006, the lack of a government-run navy along the coast of Somalia was starting to hurt the country. Pirate gangs led by local warlords began to take over commercial ships to obtain money by holding the ships and their crew ransom. As the pirates' raids became more successful, they became more daring. They started taking UN aid ships and even attacked a cruise ship to try to take it hostage. Combined task force included 150 ships from the US and the coalition, started actively chasing pirate ships to stop them from attack. On March 18th, a suspicious ship, a big diesel-powered skiff pulling two small gasoline-powered attack skiffs was stopped by the warship USS Gonzales 25 nautical miles off the Somali coast. The USS Gonzales first saw a diesel boat pulling smaller boats, a typical pirate formation. With the USS Cape St. George only 40 miles away, the USS Gonzales followed the suspects until dawn. Just before dawn, each American ship sent two rigid-hulled inflatable boats with highly trained landing teams to determine what was happening. The boat's attempt to board was stopped when the pirates fired at them from close range. The boats fired back, and the pirates ran away. Number 4. 
Turkish Navy versus Somali Pirates. Here we have another crazy clip of Pirates Gone Wild from back in 2009. These guys never take a break. Where do they get time to drink rum and talk to their parents? Anyway, according to the military, Turkish commandos apprehended five pirates in the Gulf of Aden as part of a NATO effort to suppress piracy off the coast of Somalia. The naval commandos invaded a skiff as the pirates prepared to launch an attack on the ship. Somali maritime gangs have generated millions of dollars in ransom, but they've also made a lot of enemies. The Turkish Navy may now be added to that long list. Number 3. Iranian Navy Thwarts a Pirate Attack According to these images from Iranian state television, the Iranian Navy foiled a pirate raid on an Iranian oil ship in the Gulf of Aden. The tanker was approached by four boats carrying armed men before crossing the Bab al-Mandeb Strait, but their attack was thwarted after the Iranian escort fired warning shots. Iran's navy has expanded its reach in recent years, sending vessels to the Indian Ocean and the Gulf of Aden to protect Iranian ships from Somali pirates. According to Rear Admiral Mustafa Tajedini, the flotilla was rushed to the site and engaged in fire with the invading boats after an Iranian ship requested assistance in the Red Sea. After a spat of attacks by Somali-based pirates between 2000 and 2011, Iran, like other nations reliant on the Maritime Channel through the Red Sea and the Suez Canal, increased its naval presence in the Gulf of Aden. Number 2. French Navy Captures Three Pirates Off Somalia the French Navy apprehended three alleged Somali pirates on board a mothership in waters east of the lawless country's coast in 2009. When the three were apprehended by personnel on board the French frigate Nivose, they offered no resistance. They are suspected of piracy, remarked the ship's captain. Thirteen gasoline drums, lifeboat starting plugs, and multiple life jackets were discovered aboard the 10-meter-long mothership from the Bao Asir, a vessel previously stolen by pirates. No weapons, however, were discovered on the vessel, which armed military soldiers stopped with two light boats and a helicopter as the cruiser approached. Number 1. Barbed Wire Helps in Repelling Pirates while it seems the best deterrent for pirates is to have a massive modern warship ready that can launch attack helicopters and elite soldiers, what do you do if that isn't available? Well, it seems good old barbed wire can do the trick. Barbed wire has been shown to help ship personnel fight pirate raids and restore control of their boats when at sea. Pirates attempting to board the ship are quickly deterred by razor wire. To prevent unwanted persons, read pirates, from boarding, razor wire can be strategically deployed throughout the ship's deck perimeter. Razor wire is frequently constructed in a concertina pattern to improve its defensive qualities. When prospective invaders come into touch with the razor wire, the sharp edges prohibit them from accessing the vehicle. This can buy valuable time while a rescue ship makes its way to the sea. So, do you think we'll see another rise of pirate activity again? What do you think old-fashioned pirates would make of modern piracy? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff, showing up on screen right now. See you next time.